see him everywhere on the field as a receiver. Some at quarterback. And trying to keep it away from him, they go instead to Derek Lassick. Out across the 20, and a nice run to the 30-yard line. It's third down and three for the Crimson Tide. Three receivers in the game. Shuffle pass. Stacy will have the first down. He breaks into the open at midfield. And caught in the secondary by Dion Figures. Matt Wethington will attempt the field goal of 46 yards. His career long is 42. Alabama's had trouble in this area this year. Field goal attempt on the opening drive. Wethington. Not enough. Mitch Berger is the Colorado punter, averaging 41 yards a punt. He was blocked once this year. This one a liner to Palmer at the 34. And a punt that normally he would relish to run back. And he is swung down by Greg Thomas. That's some story. Third down and 21. Houston the single back. And he'll swing it over to Houston. Just getting into Colorado territory, but a punting situation. This one a good punt out to the 50. A high step move by Palmer to free himself. Look out! He may take it. He's got to beat the punter. He gets the block ahead. Return for a touchdown. He's done it. David Palmer. For the Buffs, Bama will start inside of its 20. No tight end, three receivers set. Curtis Brown, the extra receiver, running play for Turner. Good run by Kevin Turner. We saw David Palmer come into the game and relay the play. And here on the toss, Saran Stacy for the first down carry out to the 33. Greg Thomas, as Barker almost lost the football, but he's ruled down at the 20. Darian Hagan. How often have you seen your quarterback running back punts? And how often do you look forward to uh, punt returns as much as we are this <laughs> evening? Really? Did you run back punts very often for the track? Oh, look at this, a block. A block, and the Bucks are set at the three-yard line. Henry Phillips. And Warren in the backfield. Again, it's Phillips. Straight ahead. Touchdown. And wouldn't you uh, know it, he'd love to uh, put one in the end zone. This is about the same spot on the field that Palmer returned his for the 52-yarder. Colorado was trying to set up a return. Short punt by Williamson, and Hagan will just let it go. So... Very favorable bounce for Williamson to help the stats and backs up the bus to the 34-yard line. Colorado punting unit hustled onto the field almost before Palmer could get into place. Look at him again with a stutter step move, but Chad Brown wrestles him down right away. 48-yard punt by Berger and a four-yard run back with a flag. There's a clip during a run back. Penalty will be paid for us, half the distance from the spot, first down. First down, Alabama from the eight. Pump fake by Barker, look out. Might have lost it, Chad Brown was there. Recovered, recovered by Alabama's Hammond. Matt Hammond fell on it. Second and 16, Bama from the one. Look out, that's a safety. Martin Houston is stuffed. Now the Buffalo offense should get good field position as Alabama is forced to kick from the 20. Hank Williamson with the free kick off the side of the foot. Fumbled at the 50, but fell on by Colorado. He's satisfied with uh, having his punter, Berger, kick the 
tied deep in their own end and keep David Palmer as far away from uh, the other end zone as possible. Berger boots it into the end zone. First from the 20. Palmer in motion. Fake the toss and they get it over to Palmer. Stretches it out to the 30 near the first. If he struggles, though, don't be surprised if we see Danny Woodson. So far, he hasn't struggled. Second down and in inches. Stacy goes down the line for a moment and cuts in for the first to the 34. Wisdom from fullback Turner, a senior. They fake the reverse, and Stacy, he leaps for the first at the 46. But you can see Stallings is getting Palmer more involved in the offense. Ten minutes to go in the second quarter. Saran Stacy on first down. Good blocking for him. Into Colorado territory. Inside of the 40. And down at the 30-yard line. Third down and nine. Bama from the 30 of Colorado. Look out. They get him. And a football free. Fell on by Kevin Turner. It's a punt near the 50. Hagan raises a hand. That football may have touched him. But it went out of bounds, so it doesn't yep. matter. But he was awfully close, too close, I'm sure, for McCartney. It was out of bounds at the one. Lewenberg to snap it to Berger. This is one that can be returned. Watch it. to the near side of the field and a nine-yard run back after a 43-yard punt. The 44 this time. They do run the reverse with Lee, Kevin Lee. And they'll lose tremendous yardage. And prevents a big game for Alabama. Tank Williamson driving punt. Hagen now will have a return opportunity. A very short one at that. Third and 18. Interception at the 50. Mark McMillan. Mark McMillan inside of the 20. Mark McMillan near the goal line. A yard shy. Under three minutes to go in the half. Colorado 9, Alabama 7. Third and goal. Stacy tries to reverse his field. Ron Wolfert makes the play again for the Buffs. Jeff Wall on the hold. And just barely. Ooh. Those goalposts are 18 feet 6 inches apart. <laughs> and he used every bit of that. Palmer accounted for Alabama's touchdown. If you just joined us, a 52-yard punt return in the first quarter. at the 25 and Palmer lets it go 24 yard line is where the tide will start this series let's watch the young gun for Alabama Parker will get it back on the flea flicker no will not have the opportunity Colorado will be set up Joel Steed on the recovery here's a 33 yard attempt for Harper to get Colorado the halftime lead Harper delivers the end of the first half with the score Colorado 12 Alabama 10 Berger with a big high boomer great punt backs Palmer to the seven two or three guys take a shot at him and everyone else converges thereafter you don't see that happen very often but I guarantee you he has a slight concussion at least after that blow down burst Saran Stacy across the 30 to the 43 yard line second down and four Please. 
Basie. First down inside of the 40. He's headed for a 100-yard game the way he's going now. Derek Lassick now in at tailback on first down. They play action fake to Lassick. Barker flings it. Complete to Lee. To the 10. Third and goal. They see at the 8. Reaches for it and gets it. and a touchdown for Barker. Watch Palmer now. Freshman speedster. Met right away. Oh, able to break away from Chad Brown, but not make it on the second effort. Ted Johnson backed up Brown, and it's 16 to 12, Bama. Cole to Johnson from the five. Across the 30, big run. Charles Johnson to the 38. Well, I mean, you know, I've been looking forward to the ball since the beginning. I'm pretty disappointed, but, you know, the team, we have a good backup, Darnell Brooks. He'll do fine. All right, Lamont, good luck in surgery. Feel better. Let's right, go back upstairs. Here's a pass play working to Westbrook. Look at them go to the 30. Michael Westbrook, touchdown. One play drive for Colorado. Alabama first down from the eye formation and Stacy again a good gainer straight ahead for the tailback George Wilson with a good block second down and two Evan Turner first down first down with classic running and classic slashing look at him Get to the 45 of Colorado. And they're going to get a face mask attacked on the end of this one. Running backs in the game, Martin Houston, the fullback, Derek Lassick, the tailback. Chad Brown in on the quarterback. Barker gets away. Completes it to Busky, his tight end at the 12-yard line. He went through uh, a scare in the spring when a strain of mononucleosis strapped his body lost 30 pounds his glands were so swollen he couldn't swallow here's a pass toward the end zone is it a catch yes touchdown Alabama Kevin Lee and he'll take some turf home with him but you know he doesn't want anybody to touch it eight seconds remaining in the third quarter Alabama leading 23 to 19. High kick by Berger forces the fair catch. And that closes out the third quarter. Three touchdowns in the period. The score, Alabama 23, Colorado 19. Robbie Stadium. Inside they go with Turner. I believe Turner's going to have a good career because he has versatility uh, and a lot of the pro coaches like that ability to catch the ball as a running back. And Saran Stacy showing tremendous quickness getting into Colorado territory and getting his hundred yards. That career ends. Well, he will play, play pro ball, I guarantee you that. Third and one. Turner easily getting the first. Second and ten, 13 minutes remaining in the game. Palmer at quarterback. Beaker in on him. Here come the rest of the buffs, but Palmer breaks out of the jam. It gets to the 29. Sacrifice and hard work being the common thread. Exactly. Palmer back at quarterback. And to the 20-yard line. 
Chance Brown might be one guy to watch. He's been the top tackler so far. Turner, first down, Alabama. Second down and nine. Parker out to the right side, Stacy. And it's Thomas with the tackle, but not until Stacy picks up the Alabama first. Third and goal. Palmer to the bottom of your screen. They're looking for him. Looking for David. Palmer in the corner. Oh, what a catch. Touchdown, Alabama. Rico Smith is the return man. Hey, that's an Alabama bowl record. Three touchdown passes by Barker. Rico Smith from the 35. A lot of red jerseys down there. And going out of bounds, Rico Smith at the 45. Virtually no offense tonight. And no sense to go in a huddle. High stepping away is Hagan. And he zips that one to Henry for the first and down to the 38 of Alabama. And a winning attitude that anything's possible with Darian Hagan at quarterback. Wide open. Oh, what a catch this time. Charles Johnson, he dropped the bomb earlier in this game, and this one a much tougher opportunity. He takes it. Some catch, wasn't it, Dan? Yeah, and the clock stopped because of the first down. It starts to roll now, so with this pass. This pass goes for a touchdown. Colorado's back within one score. Charles Johnson. And now Colorado will have to go for two. Here's the two-point opportunity to get within a field goal. Play action. And Hagan to the back of the end zone. Batted away. And CU is poised for another comeback. And Darian Hagan has not been returning punts in the second half. He's in there now as the returner. He'll have a chance on this short one by Williamson. Oh, he lets it bounce out of bounds at the 31. He couldn't get there in time. Three receivers to the left. Hagan flushed out of the pocket. He'll work the sideline wisely. And they mark it at the 40. Can't worry about it now. No timeouts. Second and inches. That'll pick up the first, and they'll go into Alabama territory at the 43. Third and 15. He releases it just in time, and the catch made by Brown, breaking off one tackle and getting near the first. Will the dream comeback continue, or will it end here on fourth and one? Hagan into the middle. This game is over. Alabama stuffs them on fourth and one. John Copeland and Lemansky Hall. Chad Brown was the man with the honors for Colorado. Gene Stallings, what a coaching job this year, 11 and one. finest option operators in the history of college football sees his college career come to a close in another thriller. Let's go down to Jim Gray. Gene, congratulations on a great year. You come in now, you're 11 and 1. Nobody expected this. Your feelings, is this your most satisfying season? Well, it was a great season. I'm proud of the players and staff. It's just fun to be at Alabama. What about the new offense that Colorado tried to throw to you? Did you were you expecting that well, all the time? We have we are able to adjust to all kinds of defenses. Hey, great job. Good game. Good game plan. Well, Gary, and you had a great career. Your thoughts here as the career ends. Hey, it came to it came to a uh, exciting end. I wouldn't say disappointing. Uh, we did we, we did what we had to do. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes early in the cost us. But, uh, you know, we got a heck of a ball team. They'll be back. You were a great college player. We've all enjoyed it. Let's go back upstairs to Jim. Yes, thanks for the memories. Congratulations, Alabama. So, for Dan Fouts, Andrea Joyce, and Jim Gray, Jim Nance saying so long from the Blockbuster Bowl, where the final score is Alabama 30, Colorado 25.